Hi YouTube, um, please uh, subscribe to this channel if you like it because I have uh, more uh, MRSA videos coming out soon uh, and also uh, other ideas. Um, in my previous uh, MRSA videos I said to use a substance called Staphyseptic um, and to mix that with Epsom salt and to use a hydroponic bulb all three together to treat MRSA. Um, I currently have a MRSA infection right here. Um, let's see if I can get this focused here. Anyway, uh, I went down to CVS and they no longer sell this and I found out that it's no longer called Staphyseptic anymore. The FDA said they can't use that name. Uh, the company that made Staphyseptic was called uh, Tech Labs. Um, the, their new product is Tech New First Aid Gel. Uh, because I can't wait to get this in the mail, um, I found at CVS something called Dermoblast. Uh, and they also have something called uh, Lanocaine Spray. This is a Dermoblast spray. And if you look at the active ingredients, that's a Benzothorium, I think that's how it's pronounced, Chloride 0.2%. That first aid antiseptic is the same uh, ingredient and the same percentage used in Staphyseptic. So uh, I'm going to try to use this Dermoblast instead of Staphyseptic and I'm going to spray it in uh, crushed Epsom salt and uh, I'm going to see how it works. Um, I just wanted to provide that update so uh, uh, if you're trying to treat MRSA with my method uh, make sure that you find something with the benzothorium chloride 0.2%, whether it's Dermoblast, uh, Linocaine, uh, Nutex, new product, uh, Amazon or other sites have it. Um, and I also want to say that I don't work for any of these companies and I don't make any money on uh, this MRSA. Um, I'm just trying to help people because I know what it's like to have MRSA. So, uh, because of my First Amendment rights, I can uh, say what I want because I'm not involved in commerce. So my First Amendment right speech is not regulated. Uh, but uh, I've treated three MRSA infections, my last three MRSA infections, without antibiotics, with uh, my method. Thank you, YouTube.